Welcome everybody, my name is Ola El Hosini. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to use the data validation to limit the length of the text entry. Uh, let me show you how to do this. In this example, I want to, the end user to enter the product code. This product code uh, contains from two parts. The first part ID dash and the next part is the product number. And I want the, uh, the, uh, the first part to be displayed automatically and the end user will, uh, will enter only the uh, part two. Let me show you how to do this. The first step, highlight your range like this. Okay. And I am going to use the format sales dialog box by press control one. Okay. Under number tab, I select the custom. And under type, okay. I am going to use this format because the ID dash text will be displayed automatically. So I type double quotation, ID dash, double quotation, and I am going to use a number sign, which means the end user will enter uh, a numeric data. Okay. And press OK. Okay. Now, if the end user enter the number of the product, the ID dash text will be displayed automatically. But I want to limit the length of the product number. So I have to use the data validation. Let me show you how to do this. The first step, we have to highlight the range, okay, like this. And from data tab, select the data validation. And under setting tab, from allow box, select text length. From data box, we have multiple choices. The, uh, I want the, uh, uh, the product good will be uh, between the six character and 10 character. So, I am going to choose between a choice and from the minimum, I select the minimum value, six character and maximum, specify the maximum character and press OK. OK. Now the end user will, will, uh, the, will enter the number code only. OK. If the end, end user enter less than six character, an alert will be displayed to him. Okay. Okay. So in this example, we limit the length of the text entry and uh, the ID dash will be displayed automatically for the end user. That's it. If you like the content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any feedback, please comment below the video. Thanks for watching and see you in another tutorial.